Hi guys, Josh from York Mays here, and this is a little bit more of a concise, or should I say, corn size version of day one of Craft Corner. And today we're going to be making the corn stalks, which are obviously the obviously the uh, the bit that make up the uh, the actual maze itself. So let's get cracking. So to make the stalk itself, I've used the inside of a biro, and that's because this pointy end will fit quite firmly and securely into a cardboard base. But we need to make it green. Now, I've got some green paper here, which I can use, but if you haven't got green paper, you could either print some green off or just colour in or paint some green onto some plain paper. However you choose to do it, we need to roll our green paper around the inside of the pen or the wooden skewer or the lollipop stick or whatever you want to be using for your sort of upright. Make it nice and tight and secure it in place with a little bit of sticky tape. Now we're going to make the top, which is yellow. I've got yellow card, but you could make it with your printer or your pens or your paint. It's up to you. But as I say, I've got this yellow card, so I'll use this. Very carefully, using scissors, you need to snip some tassels, or silks as they're called, into the card. As you can see, they're kind of forming there. And then we're going to cut a rectangle underneath, and that's what we're going to use to roll around the top of the cornstalk. Remember to get a grown-up to help you if you're using scissors, and then you can roll it around the top. I always roll it first, and then pop it on the top. I think that makes it a bit easier sticky tape it on and then you want to sort of separate the tassels or the silks out so they kind of flail everywhere and it looks like a corn stalk. Obviously there's no leaves on it yet but that's what we're going to do now so draw your leaves onto a green piece of paper or a piece of paper that you've made green they can be any shape and any size cut them out being careful with scissors and then we're going to roll them because corn stalk leaves kind of protrude out a little bit like when you peel a banana so just roll them one by one and you'll end up with something that looks a little bit like this. So now we've got to get the leaves onto the corn stalk, and you can do this by using Pritt stick, or you could use craft glue, just be careful if you use that, make sure you put the lid on properly, or you could use even a bit of sticky tape. Whichever one you use, just make sure that you give the leaves another little bend just as you get them all on there, and then that's it. But of course we're not finished yet because it wouldn't be a corn stalk without some corn. So here's how we're going to make it. It's actually called origami and it's all to do with folding pieces of paper. So here's how you do it. You need two squares. Now I'm going to use big ones to show you, but I would recommend that you use kind of, I don't know, four centimetres by four centimetres, something like that. I'm using ten centimetres to show you, but you use smaller. First of all, you're going to fold them corner to corner. See what I did there? to create a nice straight line down the middle of your square. Then, with the sides on the edge, you're going to fold them into the middle, like this, and the same on the other side. So the edge goes into the middle, like that. Now you do the same at the top, folding in the bits that you've already folded as well, so that you end up with something that looks a little bit like a green emerald diamond, with a lot less value. Fold that in half once, and then once again, over the same line and you'll have a little triangle. You're going to separate the middle of that triangle out by pulling out the middle section and then flattening the bottom with your thumbs and it'll look like this. I always add a little bit of detail with a darker green pen, just the outlines and some leaf definition just to make it more convincing. And then we'll move on to the actual cob. So fold it corner to corner but don't completely press the fold down, just nip it and you'll mark the centre point. Do the same with the corners but folding them to the centre point and then cleverly you've created four equal sections or quarters. Then you're going to completely fold the corners in to their first mark as I'm doing now and then fold the whole square in half the opposite way or the composite way I'm not sure if that one works to mark the center line down the middle now we're kind of going to repeat what we did with the green here by folding the edges of the square into the middle if you remember that both at the bottom Sorry, I'm just laughing at the fact I said bottom. And then do it at the top as well. So folding the edges into the middle and just make sure you fold those little triangles into it this time. That's the only difference with this one. And then you'll have something that looks like this. To make it a proper corn shape, you need to give that top one another fold. So fold it, it'll be a little bit harder, but fold it and press it down as best you can so you've got a corn shape like this. 
As before, I'm adding a little bit of detail with a pen, so I've got an orange pen this time to do the outlines in a kind of cartoony way and drawing your kernels in a sort of checkered pattern. If you do your horizontal lines a little bit curved, it'll give it a 3D effect. When it comes to putting it together, you might have to just manoeuvre your leaves a little bit, so open them up, it's quite pliable because it's only paper, and then pop the whole thing together and you've got an origami cone. Tape the side up with a little bit of sticky tape if you feel it necessary because it can have a tendency to pop open otherwise. Now as I said I made mine a lot bigger but it won't now fit on the stalk so just there you go. I'll let you uh, work out how I did that. <laughs> and there you go that's your origami corn on your homemade corn stalk. It should fit into a cardboard base quite conveniently because of the point on the biro, as I said. But if you really want to go for the full effect, you're going to want to make some soil. So mix some brown paint, which I find is best with a little bit of PVA glue in it as well, and add some sawdust. That's your key ingredient here. Give it a whirl together. Mine's a bit too green, but it'll do. And you're going to sort of layer that around the base of your cornstalk. Mine looks a bit weird because it's just on its own, but if you've got a load of them, it looks great. Now, I've also added some sawdust paths onto my uh, base. Your base would be painted green <laughs> in an ideal world. I've not really had time to do it on my example here. But paint a little section with PVA glue, sprinkle some sawdust on, let it dry, and then tap it off, and you'll find that it creates a lovely-looking path. If any sawdust goes onto the soil, just paint over that, and then you're done.